It's, uh, this is all about, this is coming in from New Indian Express, it's all about the grey man, and it's Ishwara uh, Waru- yeah, Sonner, I think that's how you say uh, the actor's name, yeah. and uh, Ishwara, who also worked as an assistant director on 2016 uh, Marathi film Ventilator, will be seen in a minor role. Now, um, we've covered this film quite a bit, John, because it is going to be obviously coming up on Netflix um, very soon. Uh, the star cast of the upcoming Netflix actioner, uh, The Grey Man, now includes actor Ashwarya uh, Sonner. Ashwarya, the best known for her performance in 2017's Maratha film, uh, Kaya Ray Rascala, confirmed the news in a recent interview. Okay. According to sources, Ashwarya also worked uh, as an assistant director on the 2016 Marathi film Ventilator uh, in a minor role. The Grey Man. Ooh. Yeah. Danush, I was about to say, who's the other Indian actor? It's right in front of me. Yeah. Danush. Yeah, Danush, yeah. Uh, the Grey Man made waves in India last year when actor Danush was announced as part okay. of the film. Ashwarya's cool casting dip. makes her the second Indian actor to join the project. Directed by the Russo brothers, known for their work on Marvel films, including two Captain America films and two Avenger films, The Grey Man features an international star cast that includes the likes of Ryan Gosling, Chris Evans, Anna de Armas, uh, Wagner oh, Moura, so and Jessica Henwick. Build as an action thriller the film is based on Mark Greeny's novel of the same name John another name added to it um, yeah. have we got a release date for this film yet uh, I don't know I think it's just next year Stephen yeah. um, I know the Russos were working on Cherry I think it was Cherry what was it Cherry uh, well, Cherry yeah, with, with Tom, Tom Holland yeah. Yeah. so that's not long done so yeah mm. I'd imagine it will be next year I'm looking up the new Stephen I'm trying to find the movie he was in a movie. Uh, I know it was Jagami, Jagami fan. Uh, Stephen, I thought that looked amazing. Mm. Ja- Jagami fan, do I mind us reacting to that? Yeah. Was he not in a movie we watched? Uh, it was Mary. It was Mary too. We reacted to the trailer. Mm. And what a trailer. The song and dance number. And what a song and dance number it was. Yep. Mary too. This guy is incredible. His moustache game. His glasses <laughs> game. He's dancing, man. Slick as hell. Yeah. So for Danush alone, I'm excited for this. I don't know much about Ashwari Son- Sonar. Sonar, yeah. Um, because as they do say, she's only had two really breakout roles and also we've just started dipping our toes in the world of Indian yeah. cinema. And it's been primarily Talapafi. And of course, prior to that, we've done the likes of Shahid Kapoor and stuff like that and Prabhas. So, but we're still not completely up to date with all of the big names no. or all of the names in general, notable names in India, uh, Indian cinema. But Stephen, it does interest me that they're... they're adding more Indian actors it suggests to me it's a globetrotting movie obviously yep. it's a CIA agent who's on the run I think he's defected there's another CIA agent I think it's Chris Evans who's running and it's Ryan Gosling who's chasing I don't know maybe the other way around I don't know but going around the world also going to India so I'm, I'm presuming John if bringing I, I also in. think as well just I, th- I think Indian cinema is trending a lot more yeah. than it used to you know you, you go on and you see I mean we've we're caught up in this uh, phenomena as well, you know, with Indian film and how great a quality the films are, and I think that the Western world is starting to understand, you know, and opening their blinkered eyes to the bigger world in cinema, and um, I think that's one of the reasons is that they can see, um, not, not just from a marketing point of view, but the talented actors in there, John, you know, multi talented, yeah, yeah, and we talked about telepathy, uh, telepathy. You know, <laughs> do we think that? You know he is going to make that step over to the west. Not that he has to. He doesn't have to. He doesn't well, we've seen him to. dancing in uh, Las Vegas and yeah. stuff like that. So, but I mean, like a, a, an American production. You know, something. Good. That would you be know, good. That, um, I always, I always go back to the. You know, um, Jet Li making that transition over to Western cinema as well with Lethal Weapon Four, and that kind of just spiraled him into you know superstar. Superstar. You know, yeah, yeah. Stephen, I'd like to see it. Uh, I think he's a talented enough guy to make the jump over to Western cinema. It's not that much different. And as you did say, there seems to be a lot more multi-talented artists, for lack of it. I don't want to call them actors, over yeah. in India, who can, de- who can do, I should say, this is the actual pre-workout, starting mm-hmm. to work off big time because I'm starting to fling slang words in day. That means do in proper English. Who can do it all. They can dance, they can sing, date they or. can act, they can date all. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you don't want me getting into slang. People who can't understand me speaking like this will understand, certainly yeah. not understand. Will certainly not be able to understand is old Scots, proper English, Germanic <laughs> roots, and all of that jazz. The Germans brought it over to here, and we kept it closely. They can do it all, Stephen. Uh, yeah. The likes of Tan Egerton, Hugh Jackman over here can do it. Uh, there's not many names over here that can do the singing, the dancing, the acting. These guys over there in the main, the likes of Alu Arjun, Tyler Paffy, NTR Junior. They can do it all. They yeah. can sing, they can dance, they can act. So, 
Steen, what I'm saying is I don't think it can... It wouldn't be a barrier. I don't think he could... He wouldn't be able to break through. I think he could come over to Western Cinema and do well. Steen, we're, we're going to be talking about Tara Paffy and he's going for a potential pan-Indian effort in Tara, Tara Paffy 67. So mm. he's starting to open it up a bit, I think, away from t- solely to Neil Nadeau. I don't know enough about the guy's career, Stephen, no, no. and whether he's he's done a pan indie movie before. I presume he has, because he's, he's well-respected across India. Although, Stephen, you actually spoke to someone, I think you were interviewing for a job or something. I don't know if it was, but I think mm. you spoke to an Indian person, and they didn't actually know who Talapathy was. You asked them about Talapathy, yeah. and they're like, who? Yeah. And they were Which also excited to Neil Nadeau, yeah. so maybe he isn't is widely known throughout India as mm. maybe a Prabhas or Yash or something like that so I don't know man he needs to, he well, needs to do it probably just went on a film level probably, <laughs> probably yes Stephen. there's people over here that don't yeah. even know who fucking Leonardo DiCaprio is and stuff like that so it's possible but Stephen, getting back to this great man I'm really excited for it man it's really stacked with excellent calibre of acting and also with the Russos in there they're established names now it's an action movie it's a thriller much like The Fugitive one of my all time favourite thriller action movies so I like the concept I like the two leading Roles mm. and you bring in Danush, you bring in the Shawari Sona, you're diversifying the cast, that's always great to see. So, look, excited for it. Yeah. One of my really most anticipated movies of next year. And in fact, Netflix has got that's another whole other yeah. story. Again, the calibre of acting and directors they can bring over at that streaming service now, that would have been unheard of 10 years ago. Exactly. You, you yeah. see Ryan Gosling, Chris Evans going to Netflix when the he's Russells, just yeah. the Russos and they're doing Avengers movies that are grossing 2 billion, 3 billion. Yep. Times have changed there. It, it, Captain America, you know, but fucking Netflix, it's unheard of. Yeah. The second best um, paid guy in the whole of Hollywood, Ryan Reynolds, doing Netflix movies. So that's a whole other tangent. Looking forward to it, though. Really looking forward. Yeah, and hopefully be. she is decent in it. Yeah. And piques sure, my interest. Uh, it's a minor role, John, but I'm pretty sure it's uh, it'll be a memorable role. But we're going to move on to our last.